see a ripple effect from the 25% reduction in the price of oil, rice and flour announced by the last government if a $30 rebate on animal feed from the national flour mills isn't given. This, as farmers say, NFM has increased the price of feed by 23%, causing them financial burden. Their concern was raised as farmers from across the country gathered to hold discussions with new Minister of Agriculture, Clarence Rambarat in Piaco. So I am asking you today, Honorable Minister, the State Enterprise of NFM, we are asking you on behalf of the sheep and goat and the cattle farmers, which I'm willing to assist, to give us a rebate of $30 on a bag of feed to ease the farmers' woes and see if we could get back on the, on the road of production to increase production for your sake. Farmers also raised concerns about land, saying they're in need. And they're also questioning the limited assistance given to the sector, even as the food import bill increases. They're proposing a buy local campaign. In buy local campaign, we have to do two things. One, start back the children in primary school agriculture competition. We need to go back to the primary school and get the children to love agriculture and dig in their hand in the dirt. Although Satmar say he children are not going to do that because he don't want them to go back to India ship. Well, let he stay there. We will do it in the other schools. Meanwhile, Minister Rambarat promised help for the farmers but explained the near future will be rough. But what we have now is two different systems operating. Where before a lease is even handed to a Karani worker, ex Karani worker, the ownership of that land could be sold. And the system allows for that. And then we also know that town and country is granting the change of use from agriculture to commercial in places like Reform and other parts of the country. The new agriculture minister reiterated the need to have an audit of all state lands. As he said, it is one way to relieve the farmers.